Hey everybody, how's it going? Zach Grant here, Illinois Extension, Urban Night Connect vlog series. Uh, once again here at my home farm, Fangwater Farm in Kankakee County, Illinois. I'm actually getting ready to go up to our Sosuko Urban Ag demo site to do some uh, cover cropping and uh, get some beds prepped for planting. And, and what I'm doing right now is actually whipping up our very first blend of my custom fertilized uh, blend that I like to use. I'm just going to show you a little bit about how I do that. And yeah, just talk a little bit about that. So don't want to get too much in the semantics of it. I did discuss um, blending custom fertilizers in a vlog from last spring, almost a year ago. And I'm not going to get too much into the math of what I've done. I'll show you really quick what, what, what blend I'm using in the ingredients. But I'm also going to show you how I'm going to blend them and uh, where I'm going to store them. So I'm gonna whip up about a 50 pound batch and that should be good for several beds at the demonstration site. And yeah, I'm just wanted to show you the process while I was out here doing it. I figured I would catalog it in a vlog series. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that. I am wearing, I'm not wearing my uh, N100 or an N95 respirator, but anytime you're mixing, uh, especially these meal-based fertilizers that I'm gonna be using, so I'm primarily Rather than using um, water soluble or slow release, I'm actually going to be mixing up uh, a meal based fertilizer. These are, these are organic inputs. These would be Omri organic inputs. Uh, that's not going to get too much into the semantics of that either, my choice for that. Uh, part of it has to do with the initial fertility of our site and then sort of continuing to bank some sort of medium. To slow release nutrients so some of what we're going to be providing will be providing a, a boost of nitrogen hopefully but then so there will be slower release nitrogen so using these meal based uh, fertilizers you can kind of add add your fer fertility up front and then uh, kind of slowly withdraw it from the bank throughout the season so that's another reason why we're using if you're using more of a conventional based or water soluble fertilizer you couldn't really bank your fertility the way we're planning on banking here. If you're using something like, you know, ammonium sulfate uh, or ammonium nitrate or potassium nitrate, then you'd have to make sure you follow the recommendations uh, for that in terms of when you should apply that because you don't want too much of that to leach away. But in this case, with these meal-based fertilizers, they, they shouldn't and you can bank some of your fertility up front. So, uh, but either way, you want to be safe when using it. Um, so I'm having some sort of face covering protection, so I'm not inhaling these dusts. So it's very important that you take those safety steps when handling out of the potting soil media uh, materials or these meal-based fertilizers. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of do a quick preview of what I'm using, and then I'll just kind of do a time-lapse uh, showing you uh, the process. All right, let's go ahead and take All a right, look. All right, so here we are, kind of the same setup as before uh, for the potting mix ingredients, but I'm just gonna mix up a 50 pound batch of my uh, all purpose kind of fertilizer I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna be putting it in this in this canister right here. So I'm only gonna be mixing up about 50, 50 pounds at a time. And it's a mixture of a few different ingredients. So here's kind of the ratios I'm using in my book. Here are some of my notes. So it's about uh, a 50% feather fish meal. And then I'm throwing some alfalfa meal, some kelp meal and these uh, humic acid um, granulars, granulars right here that you can see. Okay, these are kind of pelletized humic acid material. It's supposed to help with micronutrient uptake, stimulate microbial activity, a bunch of bunch of other great uh, soil biological uh, activity stimulation. So that's my rough mix. I may go ahead and mix some blood meal uh, in here, and that's primarily because, based on my most recent soil test, uh, where I'm going to be planting, I, I need to add a decent amount. Of nitrogen or i can bank a certain amount of nitrogen up front and so feather meal is a medium release uh, nitrogen based fertilizer but i'm going to add a little blood meal i think uh just to because blood meal has a little bit more quicker release uh, nitrogen and i want to give them a little bit of a boost uh, this early in the season okay so uh, this is just kind of the proportion i'm not going to give you all the math right here but what I want you to know is that it kind of breaks down into what, how much nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium I need to add per 
hundred square foot bed unit at the, at the demo site. So I've kind of blended all that down. So if I add four pounds of this mix, I'm about to create, this is the amount of actual NPK that I'll be adding to each bed. So I can kind of adjust that based on maybe the individual crop needs or what my soil test is telling me in terms of the amount of nitrogen I, I should add up front. But mostly with these organic meal-based fertilizers, you can bank a lot of your fertility up front, right when you're doing bed prep. And then maybe, you know, some tissue sampling, petiole sap, or maybe some uh, saturated media extract testing later in the season to make sure that uh, you're getting what you need. Okay, so this mix is gonna be 50-50 with the uh, feather meal and the fish meal right here. This is catfish meal. And then I'll be adding some alfalfa meal, the kelp and humic acid. I'm actually gonna go get a little bit of blood meal uh, to blend that in. So I'm actually gonna mix it all together uh, to make it a uniform mixture. And my three and a half cubic foot cement mixer I have right here that I use for my potting soil. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this fertility mixture up in that. And then I'll house it in this sort of animal proof metal container and I'll have about 50 pounds that I can use to fertilize each of my bed units. And I actually have a, a bucket proportioner that I use per bed. So if I go up to what is about two liters in here, that's two to three liters is about four pounds of the mix. So it's easy for me to mix it and then proportion it per bed and then apply it to each bed uh, before planting. So kind of part of this larger fertility management system. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna set this here and we'll just go ahead and do a, a nice little time lapse. But here's the final mix. You can kind of see the, how nice this concrete mixer can go out and the materials together for me. So now I'll add them right to the mix. Okay. That's how I do my custom meal based uh, fertility mixes for our beds at the demo site. Alright, catch everyone next time.